Hey there, in today's video, we're comparing the Sandmark Telephoto 6X lens to the iPhone 15 Pro Max's native Telephoto 5X lens. With the multi-element optics and an adjustable focus wheel, the Telephoto 6X lens allows you to get incredible zoom capabilities, shallow depth of field, cinematic depth compression, and natural looking bokeh. Perfect for urban photography, wildlife shots, and low light close-ups. There's no denying that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is an amazing phone. And with the addition of the new native 5X telephoto lens, thanks to the cutting edge Tetra Prism technology, the iPhone can zoom in closer than ever before. With a focal length equivalent to 120 millimeters, it is quite impressive. But with the Sandmark Telephoto 6X lens, you get even more zoom capability, giving you the option to use the 1X at 48 megapixel and the 2X at 24 megapixel, which has a 12X zoom to photograph and film your subject with the standard lens. Now it's time to see the difference. Let's go. Here you can see that the 6X is better able to zoom in on details of the building. The sharpness and clarity of the zoom is in part due to the 48 megapixel, but also because the native 5X lens is equivalent to 120 millimeters, while the 6X is equivalent to 144 millimeters. If you check out the background of this photo, you can see how the 6X is able to capture the shallow depth of field. This natural progression of the sharp in-focus subject into the soft out-of-focus background is highly desirable in photography and videography. It's important when using the zoom lens to remember to have enough space between your camera and your subject. Because the Sandmark Telephoto 6X uses optical zoom technology, the minimum focusing distance is 5 meters, or 16 feet. So it's meant to have some space between you and your subject. When being this far apart, you can use the adjustable focusing wheel to make sure you have your subject in focus. This comes in handy when you want certain details of your subject to be the focal point of your photo. All right, now it's time to test out the low light capabilities of the iPhone and the lens. While shooting, the native 5X lens utilizes the 12 megapixel sensor, which still produces good images, yet it suffers in low light. The upside of using the 6X is that you get to utilize the 48 megapixel sensor instead. Looking at the difference, you can pretty much notice the 6X handles the low light better. There's less noise, the sharpness of the windows and edges are more pronounced, and you can make out the light reflections more acutely, adding to the heightened drama and quality of the photo. With this photo, you really get to see how the 6X handles the out-of-focus light sources in the background, producing a natural bokeh. Those rounded light sources are a coveted aesthetic trait in professional photography and videography. While the 5X still produces somewhat of a nice background with the lights, it can't seem to really create the ethereal circular glow in the background like the 6X does. All right, so lastly, we're gonna try to use the 6X on the 5X lens. This produces a 30 times zoom, which can be astounding when done right. 
but to do it right, you have to follow a few steps. First, you have to use a tripod. Because of the massive magnification, every shake is magnified tremendously, making your iPhone unable to focus and capture a clean shot, so you have to use a tripod. When pressing the shutter button, you can cause mini shakes, causing your photo to be blurry or have aberrations. That's why you'll need to take your photo with either a Bluetooth device, like an Apple Watch, or a self-timer on your camera app. Once your finger makes contact with the timer, you'll be able to step back, allow your phone on your tripod to stabilize during the countdown. Then when it goes off, your phone is still. Pick a stationary isolated object. This is evident because you're really not gonna be able to move your iPhone at all. To photograph the moon, you will position your phone on a tripod and then you will drop the ISO down as much as possible. Then you'll use the focus ring to have a sharp view of the craters and valleys visible on your camera. It's ideal to use a third camera party app so you can isolate the 5X lens on your iPhone to shoot through and also use manual focus and the other features to adjust your settings for your photo or video. Now press the self timer and wait. We hope you enjoyed this video and it helped explain the differences between the native 5X telephoto and the Sandmark telephoto 6X. If you have any questions about this video, make sure you drop a comment in the section below. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Thanks again and happy shooting.